Hi, I'm Amanda McKetty and I'm a food and craft stylist and photographer based in Sydney, Australia. When I come into my studio, I'm usually running in and I've got a coffee in hand and I open the door and I walk into the space and I, I do instantly feel a sense of calm that comes over me. I am the daughter of Italian immigrants and food has been a massive part of our culture. I grew up really at the skirts of my mother cooking a, a bunch of different foods. I started a, a space online for me to really explore that, that Italian heritage of cooking. So I took a lot of recipes that my mother had made and I started cooking them and shooting them. I was always interested in the photography. That was always, for me, the most interesting part. I took that leap of faith, which is a big step to make, I think, for anyone to go from a salaried job that, that you love, that is paying well, into something that is, um, you know, your own responsibility to make that money. So I would say a good space has to be functional, organised and colourful, definitely colourful for me. So most of the cooking and um, preparation of the food happens in the kitchen space and then the shooting space is the shooting space for both food and craft um, but then where I sit and do all my editing is also within the kind of larger craft space. So craft is an interesting one because every time you make a craft project you use different things. The good thing is is that I have an office works three minutes from me so if I need anything and I'm in the studio in the middle of a project I can often jump in my car and run down and get paper that I need or um, fasteners, glue. My Cricut machines are a big part of uh, my craft because um, that got me started in the craft world. All of my clients love to shoot light and bright but my actual personal style and preference is to shoot really dark and moody and so that's kind of a challenge I think that I, I face generally. The more you do anything the better you get at it. You know none of us are perfect at it the first time and I think as long as you approach everything that you do with um, a level of quality I think you have to have an eye um, but a lot of that can be taught you're a perpetual student that's how I feel